Hello everyone. Today, we're going to talk about a problem that troubles many creators. Why do the colors in our paintings often look dirty? Or why does the color coordination seem messy? If you're looking for ways to make the colors in your work brighter and more orderly, then this video is made for you. I know many of you may have encountered similar issues, where people don't know how to make colors look beautiful after applying the base colors. If you have similar problems, please leave a comment below and let me know if everyone has similar issues. In this video, I'll briefly talk about how to correctly apply colors to make the painting look clean and organized. When we color a painting, we usually start with the base colors and then gradually enrich the colors. This approach is correct, but there are some details and steps to be aware of, as getting them wrong can make the painting look dirty and disorganized. Color includes three attributes, hue, saturation, and brightness, which are what we need to consider first when choosing the right colors. Let's take skin color as an example. Different ethnicities have different skin colors, and even within the same ethnicity, some people have lighter skin, while others have darker skin. This corresponds to the relationship between hue and brightness in colors, which I believe everyone can understand. So, when coloring, we first need to find the corresponding hue, then adjust to a moderate saturation, and finally, adjust the lightness and darkness of the colors. If you follow these steps, your base colors will be correct. Of course, finding the exact colors quickly requires practice. Until then, the only thing you can do is to adjust slowly. There are many ways to adjust colors, such as using the hue saturation and color balance features in Photoshop for rough adjustments and fine tuning, respectively. I won't go into details here, but if you want to know more about adjusting colors, you can leave a comment and I might make a separate video based on the situation. Once we have the base colors, we can add light sources to the painting. Colors are easier to perceive when illuminated. For example, in this video, the character is in a state of being illuminated by sunlight surrounded by a colder color environment. The side facing the sun will be warmer, while the back side, influenced by the environment, will be cooler. So, when adding colors, consider these factors to add corresponding colors. In the painting, the character's hair is light brown, but it appears bright yellow and white, where directly illuminated by the sun, and orange or red, at the borders of light and shadow. To make the painting's colors rich without looking messy, you can add more colors to the dark parts. Similarly, in the backlit side of the hair in this painting, I added a lot of blue and orange, and if you look closely, you'll also find purple and cyan, yet the entire painting does not appear dirty or disorganized. The main reason is that I controlled the saturation and brightness well ensuring the colors did not clash with the painting. I only used the brightest colors near the areas illuminated by light to enhance the sense of light. To make the color contrast in the painting appealing, it's common to use contrasting colors for the lit and backlit sides, adding more colors to the backlit side to enrich the painting. The principle behind adding colors to the backlit side is to consider the influence of environmental light, adding analogous and contrasting colors while controlling the intensity of brightness and saturation. A good color painting is essentially a good sketch. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or want to know more details, remember to leave a comment. Based on everyone's needs, I will continue to share more tips.